Hi students, welcome back to another lesson. In today's lesson, we'll be looking at profit and loss. All right, more specifically, we're going to be looking at um, some terms associated with profit and loss. And we're going to be calculating the profit and loss. We're going to be going through some problems that involves the calculation of profit and loss. All right, let's go straight into the term. So when we talk about profit and loss, the first term profit, what does that mean? The profit is the money that you gain from selling a product. All right, the money you gain from selling a product for more than what it costs you. To purchase the products all right so if it is that you are in this buying and selling business and let's say you bought a cup for twenty dollars and you resold it for thirty dollars you'll make a profit because you sold it for more than what it cost you to buy that cup all right the loss now is the opposite. The loss is the money that you lose from selling a product less than what it cost you. So it cost you $20 and you're going to go back and sell it for $10. The same cup I'm talking about. Here, you made a loss. So, profit, loss. The next term that we're going to deal with is selling price. Now, when we say selling price, the term refers to the amount a product or service is being sold for. Product or service, it means the product is the thing that you can touch, like the cup and the pencil. The service is like um, you washing somebody's car, you doing something for somebody, right? Washing a car, painting a house, whatever. All right, so the selling price is the amount that a product or service is being sold for. The final term that we're going to be looking at today is cost price. The cost price is the amount you paid for a product or service. So the original amount that you paid for it. All right, and the selling price is the amount that you are selling that product or service for. All right, so whenever we're calculating profit and loss, we just use a simple formula. To calculate the profit, the selling price minus the cost price. And that's what we use to calculate the profit. So let's remember our definition of selling price. The selling price is the amount that you sell a product for. The cost price is the amount that it costs you, the buyer, to buy. Or if it is that you own a shop, it's the amount that it costs you to purchase the goods. And the selling price is the amount you sell the goods for. So to find the profit, we stay our cost price from our selling price or we say selling price minus cost price with the loss is opposite the other way around to calculate loss we take our cost price minus our selling price all right if it is that you did not get it in this one sitting you can always revise the video go through the video so that you remember. All right, so let us try some examples with this profit and loss. Let's look at this first example. Philip is in the buying and selling business, all right? He purchased one dozen cupcakes for $720 in all, and he re resold them for $75 each. Now, we're going to look at the following questions. First, we need to find out how much money did Philip make after reselling all 12 cupcakes. We want to know if Philip made a profit or a loss. And we want to know what the value 
of his profit and loss was. All right. So he purchased one dozen cupcakes for seven twenty, and he resold each of them for seventy five dollars each. So the first question is. How much money did Philip make after reselling all 12 cupcakes? So he resold 12 cupcakes and each cupcake cost $75. Very good. So he resold 12 and each of them cost $75. He multiplied and got 900. So in all, how much? Did Philip sell all 12 cupcakes for in all? $900. So let's go back to the second question. Let's go to the second question. Did Philip make a profit or a loss? Let's recap. How much did it cost him originally to buy the one dozen of cupcakes or the 12 cupcakes? It cost him $720. Very good. And he sold all 12 cupcakes for $900. Awesome. So since the selling price is more than the cost price, since he sold it for more than it cost him, did he make a profit or a loss? He made a profit because he sold it. The selling price is more than the cost price. He sold it for more than it cost him. Remember the example about the cup I gave you just now? Right. A few moments ago, I should say. Right. So, the selling price is more than the cost price. So, he made a profit. The final quest the final question now about Philip. What was his profit or his loss? So we already has established that he made a profit, not true. He made a profit. So what was his profit? How do we calculate profit again? Right. Profit is equal to selling price minus cost price. We have to remember our formulas. Alright. So practice as much as you can. Rewatch the video as many times as you can to get your practice. So we already established what the selling price and the cost price were in the previous uh, few minutes ago. So we just take away the $720 from the $900 and that gives us $180. So what was Philip's profit? $180. Very good. Let's try another question. All right. So the final question for today. The cost price of a cell phone was $200. And it was sold for... One hundred and eighty dollars, and the question is asking, what is the profit? Is this question right, students? Was there a profit or was it a loss? It was not a profit. It was not a profit. It was a loss because. It cost him more than he sold it for. The cost price is 200 And the selling price is 180 The selling price is less than the cost price. So he made a loss. So the question said, what is the profit? That is total error. It's what is the loss? All right. So the loss is equal to cost price minus selling price, all right? So we take the 180 from the 200 and that gives us 20. 
180 from 200 and that gives us 20. So let me repeat. The question asks what is the profit, but that's an error. It should be what is the loss. From, you, from reading the question, you should realize that the cost price is more than the selling price, so it has to be a loss, all right? So the loss is $20. So he lost $20 off that cell phone. <laughs> all right, let's do a quick recap of what we did so far. When we talk about profits, it means that the selling price is more than the cost price. When we talk about loss, it means that the selling price is less than the cost price. And these are the formulas for cal calculating profits and loss. To calculate the profit, we take our cost price from our selling price or we say selling price minus cost price. To find our loss, we take our selling price from our cost price, or we say cost price minus selling price. Now we've come to the end of another lesson, students. Thank you for watching to the end. Continue watching my videos. Remember to like and comment below if this video helps so that I know how better I can assist you students. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.